So I live with schizoaffective disorder and I take medications to manage this. And just recently I tried to go off my medications again. What I mean by this is not like the way that I have in the past where I have just completely quit cold turkey, but I have been in discussion with my psychiatrist for a while now about the idea of wanting to slowly, slowly and under you know, his supervision, taper off of my medications. I've always really struggled with not really knowing the long-term effects of these medications and being a little bit scared about that and a little bit scared about what exactly they're doing to my brain. I know that I have changed since I've been on them and that's kind of a hard thing to wrap your mind around and to, you know, kind of I don't, be okay with. And so there's that component of things, but then there's also the component that the side effects really, really suck. I won't get into all the side effects that I experience, but they make it really, really difficult to want to keep taking the medications and to believe that the medications are good for you when they're producing these harmful side effects. And so, you know, there's a lot of mixed emotions at play when it comes to how I think about my medications. And I suppose I'm making this video as a means of bringing that to the forefront of discussion a little bit more and, you know, being more honest about how difficult it is to take psychiatric medication, antipsychotics, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, you name it. How difficult it can be to really wrap your mind around the realities of that. So for quite a while now, I have been kind of wondering whether or not I really do need to be on these medications every day for the rest of my life, or if maybe there's more room to kind of use them as needed and to kind of, you know, respond to the ebbs and flows of my mental illness with treatment such as medication, but just kind of trying to see what it's like to kind of try to wean myself off of them. I have speculation sometimes that I am symptomatic because of the medication, you know, like withdrawal from the medication or whatnot is causing psychosis or symptoms sometimes. And that's a huge can of worms that I don't really want to get into in this video, but it's difficult. It's difficult to kind of unpack how the meds are helping me, how maybe they're not helping me, and trying to just kind of work at balancing benefits of the medication with drawbacks and trying to figure out how best to navigate this all. Now, that said, I tried to very, very slowly taper down on my medication, actually slower than what my psychiatrist had told me to do. And it hasn't gone great. And I think that, you know, the reality of this is just that there are going to be stressors in life that impact your ability to wean off medication if that's your aim or your goal. And, you know, that's okay. It's not always going to be this linear exact process of this month I will cut down this amount of medication and then the next month I will cut down more medication. You know, it's going to be more intuitive with what your body and mind and brain and whatnot is needing in that moment than just sticking to a rigid plan like that. What kind of dawned on me and what I've been talking a lot about with Rob, my partner, is just that we are still in the midst of a multi-year pandemic. I have a 10-month-old balancing that with our other two kids and balancing that with, well, we've been homeschooling the two kids because of the pandemic, so that's added stress. Balancing that with work, balancing that with keeping up with life, it just doesn't really feel like the best time to be taking any sort of relatively drastic measures in regards to my medication, in regards to having less stability than is needed right now. And so that's hard. That's hard for me because I think I get it in my mind that Yes, I need to get off the medication. I need to see what it's like to live my life free of medication. And I think that that's a little bit of delusional thought being woven into that line of thinking too, where, you know, I get it in my head that if I can't do this, I'm failing. And I get it in my head that this is absolutely the best thing for me and my health. And 
I think it just requires more flexible thought than that. And that's, again, a really hard thing to wrap my head around. So I kind of tried to go off my medications again, and it didn't really pan out great up until this point. I think going forward, what I'm going to try to do is just try to maintain the level that I'm at right now and hopefully try to like regain stability in my life and then revisit the idea in a few months, in a year, in a few years, whatever, whenever it feels right again. If you are struggling with medication, I'm right there with you. I think that that's something that many, many, many people, almost all, I would venture to say, people who have a mental illness and need medication to manage that mental illness grapple with. It's not an easy thing to wrap your head around. And so what I'm hoping this video conveys is that it's a really complicated topic that requires a little bit more nuanced thinking and approaches than just, are you stable on your medication? Great, check. It's a more complicated relationship you have with your medication and with all that that entails than just, am I stable? Check. If you were struggling with medication, I understand, I empathize, I'm going through it too. If you are someone who loves someone who is struggling with their medication, I hope this video helps to provide a little bit more empathy into, it's a complicated thing. It's not an easy relationship to navigate taking antipsychotic medication or taking antidepressants or whatever you happen to be on. Psychiatric medication is a hard thing to wrap your head around and to, to balance. I found that it's been really helpful to talk to people about these things that I'm experiencing. You know, I think that when I get spiraling and ruminating in my own head about my medication, I spiral down some maybe less than ideal or less than healthy trajectories of thought around it. And when I try to, you know, verbalize my concerns or talk about you know, balancing medication with people who love me and people who I trust, it becomes a lot harder to spiral down those maybe not as productive means of thinking. And it becomes easier to wrap my head around, okay, I need this right now and that's okay. And just kind of getting to that place with my loved one who I'm talking about has been helpful. And, you know, not just with my loved ones, I've been talking about it with people on our Discord server too. So, you know, accessing that peer support component where you talk to people who are having the same sort of concerns and struggles as you are and understanding that that's okay. And so I guess that's a little plug for our peer support community online, but really it has been actually very beneficial. Anyway, thank you for listening to my ramblings on my relationship with taking medication. It's a hard one for me to wrap my head around, but it kind of helps to talk about it. And so if it's something that you're struggling with, I would recommend and encourage you to talk about it too. Thanks for watching. And as always, wishing you and your loved ones good health. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.